Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live on this Tuesday morning, June 14th, 2022. And we are 165 days into the 2022 edition of the Game of Life. And I'm on here a little bit early this morning. I have a networking event this morning that starts at 7.45. So it'll be helpful to me if I leave here 7.35 or so to get there on time. So I'm a little bit early this morning. I still hope that I have my regulars and maybe I'll catch a few different people. I have been up early this morning, already left the house, gone out, gotten gas, uh, come back home. I mean, it's just already been a busy and full morning. Miss Daisy is here with me this morning. Aren't you, Daisy? What are you doing? You got the hiccups or something? Seems like the hiccups. But uh, today's word of the day, 365 names, titles, and attributes for the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is Jehovah Shammah. I think I said that right? Yep. And it means ever present, ever present. So Jehovah Shammah. I like that one, ever present, because I wake up thinking about him, I go to bed thinking about him, and I do try to include him um, throughout my day, and our devotion today is going to be about that. So this word of the day went along very well. Uh, when you hop on here this morning, please say good morning, where you're watching from, and what type of Shibboleth day you're going to have today. I did have the uh, Kim D's Bionic Hemp Day yesterday, and I'm down three and a half pounds from the five that I put on during the weekend holidays. And that's all right. That's what we do. Um, last night in class, somebody, I told him I was doing a wow challenge. Somebody said, you're not trying to lose weight, are you? I'm like, only the weight that I put on during um, the holidays. <laughs> but, you know, if we don't pay attention to it and we don't have a plan, it will inch up. If you don't focus on it, it will inch up. So, um, I'll check on who's here and what y'all are saying in just a minute. We'll go ahead and do this uh, devotion for the day. This devotion is coming from Jesus Always. I know I had mentioned that I might do that, um, the Word for You Today app one each week, but I mean each day this week, if it was appropriate, and I didn't want to do that one this morning, so I'm doing this one. So today it says, seek to include me in more of your moments by living in joyful dependence on me. Now, this is like Jesus speaking, okay? I am with you, watching over you continually. Nothing you do is beyond my sight. No task or opportunity is too small to ask for my help. Actually, your very existence, including each breath you breathe, depends upon my sustaining power. When a difficult task lies before you, you usually remember to pray about it, both before you begin and throughout the challenging endeavor. You punctuate your work with brief prayers such as, Help me, Lord, and thank you, Jesus. These communications increase both your reliance on me and your gratitude for my continual presence. When you're involved in less challenging activities, however, you often forget about me and plunge ahead on your own. You may experience some degree of success, but you miss a far greater blessing that was available had you sought my help. Wow, that makes me think. Every moment, every day, let me seek your help. Or you may fail miserably, whereas depending upon me, you would have brought success. So rely on me in all you do. I have blessings waiting for you. It's just a great encouragement today because um, I don't really want to go out and network this morning. I don't really want to go out to the networking luncheon today. I don't want to do those things. Why? Because there's things that I need to do at home. People haven't signed contracts. I'm waiting on them. And it's really a pain in the rear when you're having communications with people and then they don't even, they you send the agreement over and they're talking to you fine via email. You send the agreement, all communication stops. Uh, hello. You know, I, there's, so there's things I need to get done because we have deadlines and I don't feel like I have the time to go out and network today, but I'm trying to see that with a new, new eyes. While I'm going in networking, the Lord is going to be working on those people and getting those things back to me. Because if I just sit around and wait on these things, it's like going to be like watching water boil in a pot. Um, so I need to move on, let him do those things behind the scenes while I'm creating new opportunities. So I'm going to take this devotion this morning to heart and let it work for me today. 
Okay, so who's on here with me this morning? Hey, Julie, good morning. Hey, Rhonda, good morning. I am F. Day in Troy, Alabama. Hey, Michelle, good morning. We've missed you too. I am F. Day in Carrollton, Georgia. Reba Walden, good morning in Chickamauga. Having a fire day. What's a fire day? Is that an EFB day? Is that EF, is that efficient fat burning? Um, let's see, Julie says, I lost four with the Tracy Avocado Wow Challenge yesterday. That's awesome. That is awesome. Um, Stephanie, good morning from Loganville. Having a perfect day. I made it through my Tiger 36. Great job, Stephanie. Great job. I continued to worship God and pray, and he gave me strength. Amen. Amen. I love it. Hey, Chris, good morning. Um, yes, I am a little early today. I am F Day in Jacksonville for Chris. Good morning, Diane Rerodi. Thank you for sharing. Y'all, that share button is on this screen somewhere. When you click share, it helps other people see what they have opportunity to take advantage of if the Lord draws them to it. Um, we hope that they do, but by sharing, it's a great way to get it out there. So please feel uh, led to share. You have a great day. You too. Hey, Cheryl, good morning. Tiger 16 day in Clarksville. Uh, hey, Tara, good morning. Having a perfect day. Good morning, Lori. Um, hope you're back. Well, I know you're back um, because you're on here. But I hope you had a great trip is what I meant. Hey, Dana, good morning. Back in Kansas and prepping for vacation Bible school coming soon. That is awesome. Hey, Reba, good morning. God is awesome. Yes, he is. Yes. Um, I am FA. I need prayer today dealing with an issue I need help with. All right. Y'all, let's give some hearts to Reba letting her know that we're going to be praying for her as we go, she goes throughout her day. Daisy, why, why are you barking? I don't know why she did that. It was very annoying. Um, yes, so I I don't know if I need to apologize for being on here early or just let it be. But for those of you that were able to join me a little bit early this morning, thank you so much. Make sure that you go and you journal your day. And I was teaching last night in class, and I was talking about the fact that I teach that there's two types of days, a perfect day or a holiday. But if you're a brand new member and you go into that journal and you're a lifetime member and you've got access to all kinds of other days and and, it, and you're like, but Kim said there was two types of days. Where are these 10 days or so listed here? Well, really, those are just advanced types of perfect days that you do not need to be concerned with until you've got living the lifestyle with perfect day holiday down. Just do perfect day holiday. And when you get ready to advance into more advanced types of days, you can utilize those other days. What I really love about Shavolith is that we have everything. We don't try to pigeonhole people into one way of doing things. There's lots of options in Shavolith, and I like change. I like options, and that's one of the reasons that Shavolith is so great. Okay, Daisy, I see you. She must need me to take her out or something. Um, we'll be praying for you, Reba. Hey, Brandy, good morning. A perfect day in Ackworth, Georgia. All right, y'all have a wonderful day. Go ahead and journal your day. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It should be a perfect day. Um, unless you have a birthday anniversary or something special, make it a perfect day today, okay? But declare your day early. It gives you a reason to say no to yourself if you need to, all right? And then I'll see you again in the morning for the Shibby Show and make sure that you can you watch Travis today at 11 o'clock. See what he's teaching. I always get great information from him and it helps keep you motivated. Stay connected. We know that we have to do that in this lifestyle. Julie is having an IMF day in Ackworth, Georgia. I forgot to tell y'all that. That's awesome. We're glad you're doing this with us. Julie has changed lots and lots of lives. Um, so, okay, we're going to hop off, but if you haven't journaled yet, go ahead and do that. And if you're watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. Bye, everybody.